Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to the BNS channel. My name is Edie Ann, and I want to share a thought that I had while I was driving, so hang tight. As I'm driving, and I've got about a four hour drive home, I was thinking about how people ask often, Edie, how are, you success how are you so successful with your business? How is it that you can be at the top of the compensation plan in a town of 192 people, way out in the boonies of Maine, and really not doing a lot of home parties, how is it that you can be successful? And the answer that I give is usually pretty different depending on the person that I'm talking to. But today I was thinking about, you know, Edie, there really isn't that much. There's no magic pill. There's no magic words. And not, I'm not putting myself down, but I, wanted, I want you to understand that I'm not anything extraordinary outside of what you all are. And what I mean by that is whatever abilities or whatever options or whatever choices I have, you have. They may look a little different. They may be um, put forth a bit differently, but when it really comes down to it, all of the same options that I have, you have. And if it's not a, a physical option for you, then you find your way around it. You know, that was one of the things that I always spoke about when I first began was how I overcame the obstacle of living in a small town way up in the boonies of Maine and how I became successful by overcoming that challenge. See, overcoming the challenge is only one step. That's making the choice to not allow something to hold you back. That is the ultimate view or perception of overcoming a challenge. Overcoming the challenge is making the decision that whatever is in front of you, whatever is the obstacle, will not be an obstacle. Pretty simple, actually. Well, here's the thing. My success and your success may look a little bit different. Your definition of success is going to be different than mine. And that's the beauty of our lives, right? Because we're so individual, we're so um, tuned in to our own needs and family and ex experience and environment and that sort of thing, right? So our, our view of success is going to primarily be based on our why. So if you haven't figured out your why yet, then that's the first thing that you need to do. And, and understand that you have multiple goals to get to your why. Your why is an emotion that you get to once you've achieved those goals and understanding why that matters to you. So if somebody were to ask me now, because I've had this thought process today, Edie, what is it that has made you successful in your business? One, it was the choice to overcome the obstacle that I was presented. And two, the key to all success. Here it is. Are you ready? The key to all success in your life or in your business is consistency of effort. consistency of effort. The irony is you hear it all the time in business plans. You need an action plan. A teacher needs an action plan. A business needs a business plan. So there is a plan that gets put in place, but the plan is only as good as you putting in the effort to make it come to fruition, 
right? So the key to success is to not only make a decision to overcome any obstacles that come your way and to just call them not obstacles anymore, but it is consistency of effort. If you put in the work, you will get the results. I can lead you to water, but I cannot make you drink it. We've heard all of these sayings over and over and over again in our lives. Have we not? And each one of those put one foot in front of the other. I just, I'm thinking of all kinds of different ones. If you can think of some, um, put them in the comments below because I, I love those kinds of sayings because ultimately they're a reminder that consistency of effort is what will create our results. Action is consistency of effort. See, you can put effort in, but if you put effort in and then you stop or you give up, that's not being consistent. Consistency means to continue to do it over and over and over and over and over again until you succeed. You've seen all of the memes about Disney, about Michael Jordan, about Bill Gates, you know, all of these super successful people that could have given up. They could have given up. And I'm sure they felt like they should or wanted to. But they consistently put forth the effort that was needed to get them to the point of success. So I'm here to tell you that if you do not keep doing the effort every single day, if you do not put into action the things that you are learning, and if you do not continue to plant seeds and have those conversations and talk to people consistently, you will not be successful. You won't be. Because at some point, you're going to give up. Because consistency means that you never gave up until you got to where you needed to be. So, Edie, what is the secret, <laughs> the secret sauce to your success? It's been the fact that I have consistently given effort to my business, to my life, to my customers, to my team. I have consistently been active. I have consistently had conversations. I have consistently continued my education. I have consistently been full forward effort. I just think that it's a very important thought that I wanted to share with you guys because think about it, if the ocean didn't consistently ebb and flow, it would be a lake. <laughs> it wouldn't be an ocean, right? So if you didn't consistently do the things that you needed to do in your business, you would be something else. And it would not be, in our case, a Sensi Consultant. You would be giving consistent effort to something else, potentially. Right? The key to a successful business is consistent consistency in effort. Or consistency of effort. I hope you found that helpful because it, it was kind of an aha moment for me today while I'm driving along. I hope you guys have an amazing day and go pay it forward with kindness.